Hello Greenridge and welcome to our whole school assembly for today where we're going to be looking at World Maths Day which is today Wednesday the 3rd of March that is World Maths Day. Um, so we're going to be thinking about everything maths today. So as a question to get us started, who likes maths? Do you like maths? Why do you like maths? What is it about maths that you particularly like? Or maybe you don't like maths, but hopefully by the end of today, I will, um, I will change your mind on that. Question two, who avoids maths? So linking to that last question, if you don't like maths very much, do you try to avoid it? Do you try to get around it in other ways? Do you really dread looking forward or do you dread those maths lessons? And question three, who has done maths so far today or this morning? What have you been learning about in maths at the moment? What have you been learning about this week in maths on your remote learning or in school? Have you enjoyed it? Do you like the topic you are doing currently? Like I said, we're gonna be learning about everything maths today. And some of the things that you'll be doing in school, obviously you'll have your maths lesson as usual. I have set up a times table rock stars battle that is running throughout the day between the different classes. We will see by the end of the day which class comes out on top. So keep going with that times table rock stars throughout the day. Your teachers will be uploading a maths related story to Microsoft Teams or sharing it in class at the end of the day. So please keep an eye out for that and you can listen to a story that is all about maths. And finally, they may also be adding a problem solving challenge for you to complete for World Maths Day. Um, so keep an eye out for that too. It might be a tricky one, so I'd be impressed if anyone can solve those. Now, because it's World Maths Day, I thought we would spend some time looking at famous mathematicians from the past. And there's some pictures on the screen. Maybe you can work out who they are. Some are really obvious, some are quite tricky. So don't worry if you don't know them. Who are they? What are they famous for? Have a think. There's three here right now. Shall we have a look through? The first one is the one that, that some of you probably recognise. He is Albert Einstein, one of the world's most famous scientists. He did a lot of research into space and time, and he is most famous for his E equals MC squared equation. Now, don't worry about what that means. That's a very complicated um, equation which you come onto either in secondary learning or even higher than that. Don't worry too much about it. But he was famous for his research into space and time. Next, we have Ada Lovelace. She was famous for her work on the first computers. And you might be wondering, well, how does that link to maths? To make computers, to build computers, you have to um, program them, which involves some mathematics. And the computers themselves have to be able to do mathematics. So if the computers have to do maths, the person who makes them and builds them has to know that maths as well. So Ada Lovelace was famous for that. And Florence Nightingale, she was famous for many things. I mean, you might recognise her from different um, relevance in history as well. But for this, she is famous for graphs and charts, which I know in the year three, we've been doing lots of learning about recently. And, and she was very famous for her work on those too. We've got some more. <clears throat> some again you might recognise, some you might not, and one on the bottom right. He came from very close to um, where our school is actually, so that's a little clue for you. Shall we have a look to see who these famous mathematicians are? We have Isaac Newton. He, is, he was famous for explaining gravity, and again he had a mathematical equation which linked to gra gravity. We have Pythagoras, and you may have heard of Pythagoras theorem, which links um, to the area um, of triangles. And he is famous for his theories about shapes, and as I've just said, about triangles too. We have Rene Descartes. He is famous for developing coordinates and algebra. So I know in Upper Key Stage 2 in particular, you will do some learning linked to this and you have um, René Descartes to thank for that. And the last one, who is a relatively um, local boy, his name is Alan Turing. He is a very famous World War II codebreaker who worked at Bletchley Park, which is not far from our school at all, during the World War II and helped crack some of the um, most difficult codes in history and helped um, the British forces um, be successful in World War II. 
He is a very famous mathematician and um, somewhat close to our heart in Greenwich. So World Maths Day is obviously all about maths. But a simple question, which is actually probably trickier to answer than you think. What is maths? Have a think and compare your ideas. Now I've given you some words here to prompt your thoughts. Should we have a look together? So maths is calculating. And that is simply adding, subtracting, dividing and multiplying. And in every year group across the school, we will do some elements of those. We will add, we will subtract, we'll divide, we'll multiply. And hopefully lots of you are practicing the division and multiplication on your times table rock stars today. We have counting. We count things, we count people, we count years, we count days, we count sheep. We can count anything almost. And that's a really important skill. You might think, well, that's really basic, I can count. But it's a really important mathematical technique to help us um, with different things. We have changes. So you might say faster, slower, taller, heavier, longer. They don't necessarily seem like maths, but they are. They're comparing different objects, different amounts, different quantities, which all links to maths. And we have shape. We have 2D shapes like squares, triangles. We have 3D shapes like cubes, cuboids, cuboids and spheres. We can design using shapes. We can draw shapes. We can even build using shapes. If you think of the pyramids, um, that is a shape. That is a 3D shape, uh, which the Egyptians will have used to help them design those. What is maths? It could also incorporate games, money, time, measure, problem solving. Can you ever think about any, um, any thoughts that link to those topics? Any games, you know, any money related maths that you might have done, any maths related to time, measure or problem solving? Let's have a look together. Games could be puzzles, points, scores, personal best. And again, lots of you hopefully will be playing Time Stable Rockstars to get today to build up your scores and hopefully make your class be the successful class at the end of the day. We all will use money in our lifetime. We will earn money through jobs. We will spend money by buying objects, food, different things. We may even sell things that we don't need anymore. Unfortunately, when you get older, you have to start paying bills. Um, you, have, you may have pocket money at your age and you have to pay tax again when you're a bit older. And that all involves calculation of money. So we all need to know how to add, how to subtract, how to use money to help us with our general life. And time, that is maths. We have hours, we have minutes, we have seconds, we have milliseconds, we have different time zones, areas of the world. We all use maths when we tell the time. And that's a really important skill that we all need to practice and it comes into lots of our learning in different year groups and it's really important that you can tell the time and you can work out how long different things are to help you in lots of different ways throughout your life. We have measures, we need to measure our heights, we need to measure the height of um, different objects. When people are building houses they need to know the height of the house, the height of the door frames, um, and similarly, the length, we need to know the length of different objects, how long something is. Um, if you're thinking about PE, it links to that. If we're doing a long jump, we need to measure how long we have jumped. Um, we have weight or mass. We might measure the weight, the mass of an object um, to see if we can move it. And distance, we might want to know how far we've driven, how far we've walked, um, how far we've traveled in a certain direction. and that's is really important and all links to maths as well. And the last one, but definitely not the least important, problem solving. Problem solving questions are often how much, how many, how long, how do you know? They often start with how or why. And they're really important because they help explain things. It's great if you can add, it's great if you can subtract, but it's even better if you can explain, how do you know that? How did you get to that answer? Why did you use that method? those sorts of things and that all links to problem solving and it can be more complex sometimes but it's a really good challenge for us to take on to push ourselves and help develop our mathematical thinking. So there's so much that maths links into and some of those things you probably didn't even recognize may have been linked to maths. So as a little question, can you think of a job which doesn't need maths? Have a think 
have a talk to the person beside you. What do you think? Well, some of you might have come up with some ideas, but actually everyone uses maths, even if you don't think you do. Everyone will have to start their job at a certain time. You might work from nine o'clock to five o'clock. That's maths because we need to tell the time to know what time to arrive at work. Many people's jobs will involve money and it will either involve spending money or making money. And again, we need maths to calculate that hopefully we're making money instead of spending too much. And your job, of course, will pay you money. So you need to calculate how much money you will earn to ensure that you don't spend too much money and are left with none. So even if you don't think a job um, uses maths in some ways, there will be some element of maths in pretty much every job across the world. Everyone uses maths, which is why it's so important. Have a little look around you in your room that you're in today. What can you see that involves maths? Have a quick think. I'm going to share some of my ideas. I've got a clock just up here. So that is maths. It's helping me tell the time. I have a computer that I'm doing this assembly on. And as we found out earlier, Ada Lovelace was uh, involved in building those first computers and she was a mathematician. So there's maths in this computer that I'm using to communicate with you. Um, I'm sitting in my home and they would have had to use maths to build this home, to measure the height of it, to plan it. They would have had to use shapes, drawing shapes um, as a plan for the building. So lots and lots of maths around me and hopefully you found some too. Some of your ideas might have been a clock, some shapes, the number of people who are with you in the room, the size of the room, and lots and lots of other things. So what does this mean? Well, it means maths is everywhere and in everything we do. And we use maths all across um, our learning, all across our lives. And it's really important. And that's why we spend so much time in school learning maths. So you can have the best opportunities in life to access the jobs that you want to do. Because as we touched on earlier, every job will involve maths. So let's relax. Maths is everywhere. Let's enjoy it. It doesn't matter if you find it easy. It doesn't matter if you find it difficult. We can just do the best that we can do. And that's just what today is all about. Doing what you can do, recognise that maths is everywhere and it's something to celebrate. And hopefully some of those activities like times table rock stars, battles, um, like the math stories that you might hear today and like the maths problem solving activities that you might be taking part in will help you enjoy maths, World Maths Day today. Thank you for listening. Um, Green Ridge, I hope you have taken something away about maths today and I hope that you'll be using lots and lots of maths today as we do every day. Thanks, see you next time.